we busted our ass to try to get the white card done for World Cup, but it just it just didn't end up the way we wanted to. We worked all last night. Um, this is where we're at now. So it's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with how much we accomplished in one night. We pretty much got um, the entire fuel system done and the, um, the oily system done, um, the exhaust, the downpipe, intercooler piping, the most of the fuel lines, um, radiator. So I got a Sirocco style radiator now, fuel cell, built all that stuff. Uh, pretty much in one night so i'm pretty happy with it but at the same time i'm disappointed that we we couldn't get it done and really we would have had it done but we ran into issues with the orange car and uh we had to pretty much take out the entire drive line uh due to some some clutch issues and replace the clutch so that kind of threw a wrench in the whole plan to get both these cars to world cup but the orange car is 100 percent uh put it on the dyno yesterday <laughs> ready to go so I'm gonna be loading this up today and heading out for World Cup I'll start it up here in, uh, in a second but uh, yeah I'm excited to go to World Cup the, with a car that's like done and actually done in time the last year this car was a it was a shit show down there so this year it's it's ready to rock uh, I was hoping to have both cars but at least I'll be able to focus on one car down there and probably have a lot less stress by only having one car. But I'm excited. And uh, if you guys are down there and uh, if I'm not too busy in the pits, uh, just come up and say hi to me. Um, but yeah, shop's a mess right now. Uh, so I'm gonna be cleaning up, loading up, getting everything organized to go down to World Cup. I'm gonna leave probably Tuesday morning to go get in line. 